of upper 30s and low 40s. Good morning, Ms. Missouri. I'm Elizabeth Miller. Here's a look at your local headlines. A daycare provider charged with child abuse has a date in court today. Shelly Richter claimed she was holding a child when she tripped over another, causing her to drop the one she was holding onto the floor. But prosecutors, prosecutors say a fall had nothing to do with it. In fact, they say a medical examination shows the baby in question suffered injuries from shaking, not falling. The Missouri House Veterans Committee has endorsed a plan to boost funding for state-run veterans' homes. The money would come from cutting lottery prize funds by 3.5%. Opponents say reducing the prize amount will decrease ticket sales revenue. And they say that would, in turn, hurt education funding, which comes from the sale of lottery tickets. Coming up on U News at 11, Columbia is looking into working on a central location for fans to get food and drinks during football weekends. But would a so-called tiger town hurt local businesses? A look at what you had to say. Join for U News at 11 o'clock.